This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, Impeachment? Who are they trying to kid? Back in June, I wrote a column titled, Is Impeachment Truly Necessary? In it, I pointed out in our nearly 250 years of existence as a republic, no sitting U.S. president has ever been removed from office through impeachment. This includes Andrew Johnson and Bill Clinton, the only two presidents ever impeached. Both went right back to work after the Senate voted them not guilty of charges and both completed their term of office. Impeachment has changed from a legitimate tool to remove someone from office to a political tool to besmirch the character of someone, thereby hampering their chances for getting reelected. Such is what the Democrat-controlled House of Representatives hoped to do with Republican President Donald Trump. There is virtually no way Mr. Trump will be removed from office based on what the Democrats have at this time. The Republican-led Senate will quickly dismiss the charges when they are presented to them. The Democrats already know this, but want to embarrass the president and hopefully create some form of national angst over his impeachment. Normally, I would say this is a brilliant tactic, but people already understand this is being done for political purposes only, not because the president has done anything shamelessly wrong. The people pressing this are those who simply detest the president and are still angry he was elected over the candidate of the Democrats in 2016. Timing will be critical, and the Democrats will want to drag this out as long as possible, so the actual charges will likely not surface until the new year, just as the primaries are beginning. Again, the Democrats hope to ride the national discontent to victory in November. There's just one problem. It will not work. Those that are angry at the president will stay that way, and those who are not will certainly not change their minds. Those remaining have already had enough of the Mueller investigation and fake news and will take little interest in impeachment hearings. They simply want to see the Congress tend to the nation's business, which is what they sent them there for, not to play political games. In all likelihood, the 116th Congress will go down in history as one of the most ineffectual sessions, doing nothing for the American people they are supposed to serve. It is for this reason alone the Democrats will lose the 2020 election, both the White House and the Congress. So instead of harming the political chances of the president, Mr. Trump knows this will only hurt his opposition. Instead of being embarrassed, his swagger to drain the swamp will increase. In other words, an impeachment of the president will be the best thing that could happen as the American populace will see it as the charade it is and drive the Democrats out of the House. This will damage the Democrats for years to come. In the end, will the Democrats impeach the president? As I said at the start of the 116th Congress, of course they will, as they cannot resist temptation. And besides, they have nothing else to do. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce of Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.